Hi guys, from the here, back again for another video on the channel. And this one today in Tom City have finally announced the first signing of the 2023-2024 summer transfer window. And Michael Duff has his first signing in charge of Tom City manager. And it is Joss Ginley from Hearts. Now, Josh Ginley, then 26 years old, will be a free transfer, so no fee will be needed to be given to Hearts, which is good for us. Nice and cheap and a low-risk transfer. He has played under Michael Duff before for Burnley under-23s, where Michael Duff was the academy manager. Uh, Josh Ginley has played for a whole host of clubs, which I'll mention later on in the video as well. Now, we weren't the only club interested in Josh Ginley. There was four other unnamed championship clubs interested in signing the winger and also there was a European club Hakabi Tel Aviv I believe who also wanted to get the signature of Josh Ginley but luckily for us we were lucky enough to get this one over the line and it looks a really good bit of business I've got to be honest can play on either side of the wing more often a left winger though but can play on the right and also can play up front as well so very versatile up front which is brilliant to see it just helps us um just helps us in case we don't have the options going forward and we, you know we can chop and change things um, like I said, able to play as a winger or striker, just shows how versatile he is. Last season, got 13 goals and 7 assists in 41 competitive games, which shows you know he's capable of finding the back of the net and assisting teammates as well. He began his career at Aston Villa. His senior career actually began at Shrewsbury Town, and then he played for teams like Burnley, Altrincham, Walsall, Lincoln City, Tranmere Rovers, Preston North End, Bristol Rovers, and Hart. So a whole host of EFL and Pro League clubs there. Will be interesting to see if he can settle down here though and stay for us for a number of years. As I said, has played for a lot of clubs, hasn't really found a consistent um club until he found Hearts. But yeah, Hearts did really well, like I said. Like I said, it's a Scottish division though, so you do have to take over a bit of a pinch of salt and that's no, you know, disrespect to the Scottish division as the football there isn't the greatest standard, but like I said 13 goals, 7 since the last season, 41 competitive games is a pretty good return, to be honest. Don't know where the back of the net is. And with him being more often than not a winger, I think it does show that we will be playing a winger formation this season, which is very exciting. We haven't played with wingers in a very, very long time at Solomon City. It's usually either the wing-back system or a diamond narrow formation. So players like Morgan Whitaker, Carl Joseph never seem to get a run in. But with Michael Duff already signing a winger as his first signing, it does kind of show me that, you know, he wants to go to maybe a 4-3-3, three, three, a 4-2-3-1, uh, where wingers will be involved. So it's a very exciting signing for me, especially, you know, with other clubs and Maccabee, Hackaby Tel Aviv interested in him to show that, you know, he has got potential. Um, Michael Duff, like I said, managed Josh when he was at Burnley under 23s. So obviously Michael Duff's using his contacts when he used to manage Burnley um, to get this one off the line. Hopefully we can announce a few more players as well. I know we're heavily, heavily linked with Ellie Sims as well. Not too sure how uh, truthful these rumours are, but I did mention it on my other video the other day. So yeah, about this signing, let me know down below what you guys think of it. But overall, I think it's a, it's a pretty low risk move i don't want to say it's an amazing signing it's a fantastic signing like i always do because sometimes these signings don't turn out to be what you expect but i don't think you can argue that it's a low risk fee um in terms of what his wages will be and a free transfer um it's exciting in terms of the style of play we're going to be going towards this season where like i said he's a winger so he will be playing in a wing system i assume and um, yeah, it's an unknown signing, I guess. Only had one real spell in the championship with Preston and wasn't that success successful. But hopefully, with him already being under Michael Duff's wing at Burnley under 23s, he'll have no real worry about not settling in, if you get what I mean there. So let me know, guys, what you think of the signing. But apart from that, welcome to Swansea City, Josh Ginnelly. And hopefully, mate, you have a good spell and. Um, yeah, get a few goals and hopefully try and get someone to as high up as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, there'll be plenty more content for you guys. Hopefully a few more transfers for Son City in the coming days. But yeah, it's an exciting sign then. Let's just see how he gets on.